Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Join me once again in my Mark 7 Golf R. And yeah, I'm back at the <laughs> I'm heading back to the uh VW main dealer. So yeah, um yeah, I thought I'd share a bit of a video on it. Check out some cars there as well and share it with you lot. Yeah, so nice and simple video. But yeah, let's let's get straight into this. So yeah, heading down on my way. I feel like I've spent a lot of time there over the last couple of months. If you're not familiar with my channel, servicing, <laughs> warranty issues, all sorts of little bits. Um, yeah, so back here again. Now, this is just something that's just a re legal requirement in the UK. You have to have an MOT. My MOT got extended by six months because of COVID. It's coming up to time to give it its MOT. Now, the reason why I am going back there, despite having sort of like mixed experiences with this main VW dealer, is their actual COVID practices were quite good. And I just kind of felt like a back alley MOT kind of thing to save me about five pounds um, was probably not worth it and yeah just gets it done doesn't it and also it gives me a chance to check out some of the market golfs and um yeah what else they have kind of in stock as well so yeah let's let's get straight into this and let's let's head there and um hopefully it all goes smoothly and nothing's wrong with the car <laughs> um but i wouldn't think so you know only three and a bit years old thirty thousand miles i've looked after it really well um vw it's kind of built solid so you'd expect it to be all okay for its first mot um, but yeah, let's get straight into this one and uh, yeah, hopefully all goes well. Yes, back at VW, parked next to a Mark 8 Golf. A couple of cool Golf R's there. Nice, Volkswagen, let's check it out. GTI. Cool. Polo GTI. And then you got Golf 8. You got my Golf R. You then got Amy's ST, looking all good. Golf R and ST, let's have a little look around. Do you want to come for a look around? Okay, Amy's not coming for a look around, but let's have a look at some of the cars. So you've got a Golf R in black, in, um, not black, such a cool color. Black frets. We've got the electric section, ID3. That's looking pretty cool. Very early type of car. They look really cool, they don't really have any brakes. Weird. What else? Not really that much else to be honest. Golf R is probably the coolest looking thing. A45, A45, oh CLA45S, that looked tidy. There's a Golf R. Unfortunately, we've got stereophonics on the video, so that's gonna affect. And there's my car. Ta da. So, guys, we are back in the Golf R, <laughs> leaving VW. Um, some quite nice cars actually around there. Golf R's, a couple of Golf R's knocking around. Um, yeah, job well done. So, it's just like a MOT, it's nothing. Nothing wrong with the car or anything because I'll just keep an eye out for the front here. Um, nice GTI there as well. Yeah, so just an MOT, nice and quick, two hours, job done. Had a little check around the ID3 as you might have seen. Um, yeah, doesn't really tempt me to get in that car, but um, job well done. Um, yeah, and I think it's quite important to kind of show these kind of videos during COVID because it's, you know, people just don't know what it's like. Um, it's it's certainly oh, he's turned off auto hold. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is they turn absolutely everything off. So auto wipers go off, the steering wheel goes all the way forward, um, seat gets all messed up, so that's annoying, but that's basically what it's like for all um with all garages, they'll always tweak it for people's size and stuff, but nice uh, Fiesta ST there, Mark 8. Um, I, well, I showed on camera actually a gorgeous, um, I believe it's a CLA45S, probably one of the nicest looking cars I've ever seen in that colour. Um, my friend at uh, previous work had the old CLA45 and it looked great, that just looks, it looks absolutely stunning, but yeah, you're coming up to nearly £60,000 for a car like that. As for my Mark 7 Golf R, that's hopefully the last time it's going into VW for at least probably another year. 
um, when it needs the next its next service. Um, 30,400 miles, so it's not really been going up in since February really. Now we're on to like what? Well, yeah, 12th of October. Um, yeah, but I was quite happy with that. Really quick and easy experience, all nice. Nothing wrong with the car. They do like their little free health check just to make sure everything's, yeah, to go underneath the car so you get to see it. They send you a video actually of the whole underneath of the car and they just talk you through it and just explain how well, well the car is because pads, discs, all fine on this car, um, which I'm quite surprised about. Obviously tires are good because I've had them replaced recently if you're a regular subscriber um, about 5,000 miles ago. Yeah, so all, overall the experience is really good with them. Um, slowly gaining my confidence back. Um, it's now MOT'd up. Um, yeah, they clean it down as well, obviously, from, you know, they desanitise the bits that they touch so you can feel a little bit safe on that side, which is important, particularly as, like, the rates have kind of gone up um, from COVID, but we won't talk too much about that. Good experience at BW. £49 worse off but I've got an MOT for a year so I'm quite happy and it's just another bit to add to my little service collection for the car um, but yeah it was quite interesting looking around those cars actually I was looking at a Tiguan R, R line even and it just looks huge I really can't see for me the point of getting another car in a very long time um, I was talking to my other half who owns the um, Molten Orange ST and obviously in the future you never know with kids and stuff like that what would be the right car to kind of go for i just point you there because there's a t-rock r there um and i think probably a tiguan for me i reckon that's too big <laughs> but um that seemed to be where she was kind of thinking of um i don't necessarily see the point of ever getting rid of this r i think it's just an awesome car i'm gonna give it a bit of a clean today um, yeah just wash it down one thing that I do want to say about which makes the Golf R so special is actually pulling out of roundabouts first gear is so good you can really get ahead of so much traffic particularly on faster flowing roads than on the ones we're on now um, so it's awesome for that front but yeah I just wanted to show that a short little video on a Monday hope you're having a fantastic day and you know I hope your rest of your week goes very well but um, yeah a little bit of an update as I went to BW all good happy with the car happy with the dealer so nothing really to, to complain about. Um, still in the COVID world with masks and all that stuff, but nothing's gonna really change. Happy with the service, car looks good. I always have a little look around it to make sure nothing untoward has gone wrong. But um, yeah, nothing has. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Please subscribe for more content to come. I wanna know what the Mark 8 Golf R is gonna be like, having looked at some of the Golf 8s around there. Um, yeah, we'll just go from there. But um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.